hello welcome to this channel again today i will show you how to download climatological data from data access viewer let's start the activity then click here on data access viewer okay then delete this one click here when you open data access viewer this page is uh, open and uh, first thing that we have to do is what choose a user community r3 user community renewable energy sustainable buildings and uh, agro climatology today we'll use renewable energy user community then choose temporal average uh, there are different temporal average or d daily monthly and uh, annual today I'll use monthly and annual so we'll download data chromatological data of monthly and uh, annual then uh, enter the location to enter the location in case you know that and longitude and the latitude you can write the latitude value as well as also the longitude value here but if you don't know the exact latitude and longitude value you have to click here on points and then search for a place where you want to uh, locate and click on the uh, point where you want to download the data i'm going to download climatological data of addis Ababa. so click here addis Ababa is the capital city of ethiopia and when you click on the point then the longitude value and the latitude value can insert here in the place then select time extends the data time extends is from 1981 to 2021 here you can choose the time extent that you want but i prefer to download the entire uh, period and uh, select output file formats different uh, file format out of file format are there asc CSV format, Joe Jensen, uh, that uh, can download the data in the raster format and the uh, net CDF format. Here, click on CSV format so the data will be exported in the form of CSV format. And uh, select parameter, different parameters are there solar flux and uh, latest uh, parameter, parameter for uh, tilted value panels parameter for solar cooking temperature and uh, thermal air flux humidity and uh, precipitation parameter and uh, wind parameter among those parameters today we'll download temperature parameters among uh, several parameters that we have here click here on that temperature at two meter and uh, temperature at two meter maximum and the minimum so uh, those data will be downloaded and here uh, humidity and uh, precipitation can download specific humidity relative humidity precipitation average precipitation sum average we will download precipitation average and uh, relative humidity you can also download specific humidity as well as also precipitation sum average wind and pressure you can download all the data here that presented but uh, for size i will uh, download surface pressure wind uh, speed at 10 meter elevation and um, wind direction at 10 meters and you can see parameter definition by clicking here and uh, you can also select the parameter to see the parameter definition here on top of that you can see the methodology here power data methodology are also described here so you can uh, look at those uh, things for uh, detailed information and then click here on submit so the data is in processing then once the data is processed this uh, window will pop up so you can click here on csv so the, DAO, the data will be downloaded in the CSV format. You see, the data is downloaded, so click here, and the data is 
open it. CSV data is uh, opened in Excel uh, sheets and you can see different parameters, surface parameters and the symbol of those parameters, temperature, relative humidity, wind direction, wind speed, temperature, uh, maximum temperature and minimum temperature and the corrected uh, precipitation and those data for example surface uh, pressure of 98.1 for January, February, March, April, each month are here and also you can see the average of uh, the months starting from 98.1 to uh, 20. 21 then temperature at 2 meter you can also see relative uh, humidity at 2 meter um, wind direction uh, wind speed as well as also maximum temperature and uh, minimum temperature for each year and uh, each month and you can see here also the corrected precipitation this corrected precipitation can be used for different purpose and you can also visualize your data using the chart so you can uh, use different charts that's uh, available here in excel here you can just insert the chart click here so different charts are there all charts we do have different charts kilometer charts line p pie chart bar chart area uh, stock surface radar chart so we do have different charts that can use to display the the outputs so you can I present your data you can use your data for different purpose uh, to present your data using the graph you may use excel you may use other uh, tools like error software white and so on if you are interested with this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you